who joins us now everywhere around us. They're all shouting for you. Mm -hmm. Alessa, what a moment. What, what was the raw emotion going through you? Yeah, I think that. the whole second half was a bit of a whirlwind. Um, but yeah, we come to these games and we want to test ourselves against the top teams and to come away with three points tonight, we're really happy. Should we have a look at your goal? <laughs> we can do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, because at this moment, we were thinking, right, 2-2, two, two, Karen. This, I'll let Karen do the analysis well, live on you. Well, I don't know, to be fair, Liz, it just seemed like you, you wanted it more. Was, was that goal better than one in the Euros, perhaps? Had a feeling better than the one in the Euros? <laughs> it's up there, it's up there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to know what's going through your head here because you've come between two players so when that ball's getting delivered like what is running through your head in this moment? I think Zell and I have quite a good connection on set pieces I kind of know where she's looking to hit and I just try and get myself my body in front of the ball um, and in front of the player and yeah that's just luckily what I did just use a bit of strength and aim for the target simple really but it doesn't always come off a bit of strength. We heard Mark Skinner talk about obviously not just the physicality of you as players improving, but mentally trying to improve that to that belief and that confidence. Did you feel that had shifted in this match? Yeah, I did. Um, I think the result reflects that as well. And there was a moment um, when we just conceded and we all came in as a group and it was quite an honest conversation. I mean, we had a few seconds before we took kickoff, but we knew we wanted to win it and we knew we could. And it was just like that extra amp. Um, and a bit of motivation and, and luckily we got the result. How much has he put that back on you as players in that moment to take control? I think, yeah, when we're on the pitch, especially in front of 40,000 people, we can't hear what's coming from the side. So we have to take ownership as players. And I think that's exactly what we did tonight. And we got the two goals to equal it up and then go on, go on to win it. What does this do now for this Manchester United team? Because we're all sat here going, oh, you know, the pressure's on to get third. You all still believe in that title, right? Yeah, I think we go into every game hoping and winning uh, and ready to get three points and come away with the win. I think we know where we want to go as a team, but uh, we also know what it's going to take and moments like tonight show that, that we can get there. We've seen your mate, Ella Toon, sign a new contract. There's been so much talk over what happens for you at the end of this season. Where's your head at with that now? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm just enjoying my football. I'm loving playing right now, and results like tonight are really special. And uh, to get on the score sheet as well, yeah, I'm just loving playing and, and in front of these incredible fans and see what happens. You know that all the Manchester United fans are in the going, please <laughs> sign it. I love it, the sign fans. It. I love the fans. They were great here tonight, home and away. They're unbelievable to us. And now they have a chance to come and see you at Old Trafford, uh, December the third. What, yeah. what would it mean to have that place full? Yeah, unbelievable. I think that's that's our home. Um, and yeah, we got a taste of it last season. But obviously, after the summer and after things that are happening right now, we hope to see even more of them um, in the coming weeks. But Alicia, I just want to again ask about that mentality of winning today, how big that is for you. Because previously, for Manchester United, it was only one out of 16 against the, the big three. Was that a, is that a real massive turning point for you and the team now? Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of times when we come up against a, a top three, um, we often miss out marginally. So I think tonight showed everyone as a team that we've got the belief and we've got the, the potential to score goals in the dying minutes of the game. And we just can't afford to slip up and, and turn our mind off the game. I think tonight we showed that everyone was locked in and, and we were pressing in the last like, minutes, wanting that desire to win the ball back and keep it out of our end. So. And, and also for you personally, that's your first 90 minute in quite a long time. You know, Is that a, a massive, again, tick for you personally? Yeah, massive. I just want to be on the field as much as I can. Um, so, yeah, it was really nice to play 90 and, and obviously come away with the three points. Amazing. Can I let you into a secret? Yeah. This lot didn't want to come out of the studio because they said it was too cold. She's been playing 90 minutes. Should we let it's her go? It's not true. It's not true. Yeah. Yeah, go stretch. We'll limber up for you. Alessia, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for answering some of our questions as well. Thank all you. All of them. Answering all of them. Yeah. Oh, I nearly forgot. My only job in life and she forgets it. You are the player of the match. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Thank you. We'll do a swap. You take that. I'll take the microphone. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to Alessia Russo. Off she goes. We will hear from her boss, Mark Skinner, coming up after the break. You can hear, even though this is a majority Arsenal crowd, there are so many young kids behind our cameras who just love Alessia Russo and want a little bit of perhaps a signature, a shirt, a boot or something else as well. She goes away with all three points, even though she might lose her shirt in just a minute. It's a win for Manchester United. We'll hear what it means to Mark Skinner next.
Arsenal have been beaten in the league at the Emirates for the first time. Manchester United coming away with a 3-2 win. Alessio Russo with a vital, vital goal to send Manchester United back home with all three points. Kisses for the crowd for Mark Skinner. We saw from the celebrations, Mark, as you join us here live, that meant everything, didn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm surprised I can still talk, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, look, it was an amazing performance from us. You know, I actually felt that when we went 2-1 behind, I, I actually felt like we were going to come back. And I asked them before the game to look at how we show personality in these bigger games. And I've had that in an absolute abundance tonight. So I'm the, the, the happiest man on the planet. Alessia stood here and she said, we actually all got together after, because it was straight after half time that Arsenal scored. And she said, we got together on the pitch and we managed that moment ourselves. That's got to give you that extra lift, doesn't it? It really does. And I think we we, what we kind of probably lose out on the other teams is the experience that we have. But like nights like tonight make us have that experience and the players doing that themselves. When you become autonomous on the football field and make your own decisions with the guidance that we give, then we're a ruthless team. And that's what we got tonight. We got the ruthless nature, but we got the brains, the maturity and the growth from the team. And, and you've seen that in our performance tonight. Mark, you've obviously come in just over a year now and you've put your style on I think it's evident to see but is the hardest part like you mentioned the mentality because before that only one in 16 against the big the top three allegedly the mentality in the past appeared to be the hardest part for Manchester United do you think that's what you've really tried to push them to it is absolutely the hardest part without a doubt without a doubt just believing that you can get over the line is something hard to coach and you have to work with the individuals to help them to believe that. We know we've got wonderful talent, but you have to have experiences like tonight, like you all three have all had in your careers, to be able to get past that and go on to be successful. So we need nights like this. We need the losses last week and we need the wins tonight. That's, that'll help us grow. Just on a, a player, uh, sorry, Fern, just on Ella Toon, um, we saw her do it on the big stage again. We saw her tonight. I thought she was absolutely outstanding, her movement to get on the ball. Is she someone that you just, again, sign a new contract? She's the one, bang, we need you to step up tonight. I absolutely, before the game, I asked Ella to step up. I asked Ella to give what she gives absolutely everything to this team. She lo she's Manchester United through and through. But I wanted to see her maturity keep growing and to show it on the biggest stages. And, and look, she has it. She's unbelievable. But I'm going to keep ask, expecting and expecting of her. Like, you see just the quality of the way she links through the lines. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can see it in here as well. Like, she's clever, isn't she, in what she's doing? She's waiting for a moment, and, you know, she believes that it's going to come across into her, and she gets on any kind of mistake, she will latch onto the end of it, and you can see what she's capable of doing. She absolutely looks the way that she moves and, and just holds the space, and that's what she's grown in in the last year, for sure, is knowing when to arrive. And, like, the finish is just... You have to keep your eye on that one. That's an easy one that could go wide, but she's... You know, as I say, it's the movement to get in there at the right time and the top players have that. How good is it to coach a player like that? I mean, I would have liked to have coached you three, but yeah, um, yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful, it's a privilege of mine. I said that since I come in, this team is a privilege for me to coach and I'm, you know, I want to get the best out of them because I want these to be the most successful team in the country. And those experiences, as you say, like tonight, getting the, getting the win against a top team like Arsenal, does that change the, the aim for the season, the targets, or is it still a game-by-game game mentality or, you know, it's top three or are we going actually to, to contend for the title this season? You know my tagline, it's game-by-game. Game. <laughs> no, uh, you, you knew that, but no, it's it's, it's game-by-game game for us. We're just, have, just having a look at Millie Turner's goal, all that she's been through. How, for her, for the team, what does this mean? I mean, I didn't like our goal that we conceded in, when we came out from the, the first into the second half. I thought we could have been more decisive. But she has an unbelievable aerial ability and like, she's, the, she's the best character. And, and um, we're building a team around characters and performances and quality. So, you know, I want us to be a real threat, but you need players like Millie with her mentality and just that lightness. She has a light, light attitude to the game. And, but when she's on there, she's an ultra competitive character. Alessia Russo was up here with us. She got player of the match. We showed her her goal as well. For her, what a moment to make it 3-2. I mean, I, I actually think I invented dance moves on the sideline when it went in. <laughs> yeah. We can see um, that clip of it. <laughs> she's got one. It wasn't great dance moves, by the way, but, <laughs> but the ability to move in the air, to judge the flight, get between gaps and get connection, 
and direct it into the corner. I mean, look. Let's analyse this. Let's, I mean, I actually, you saw my midlife kind of spread in the, as I jumped up there. But, yeah, look, that's what we do football for. It's, it's the ability to have those moments that give us those reactions. And she's a key player for what we're trying to do. We are off to Old Trafford um, to watch you against Aston Villa. For you to sell out Old Trafford, what will it do? For Manchester United fans watching this, what will it do to lift your side? It'd be huge. And I think, you know, all credit to the Arsenal supporters tonight to come out and all of our wonderful supporters coming over to see us. But I'd love to sell out Old Trafford. I'd love to because I think it shows the players just how much their love is for them and what we're trying to build within the women's game, but also within our team. And then that Manchester City match at the Etihad on December the 11th as well. We've all talked about that race for third. You say it's a game at a time, but you're thinking higher than that now, right? I, I've always thought higher than that. I just we have to get the performances right. I'd, I'd be stupid to sit here and go that we we should we deserve anything. We have to earn it, and nights like tonight will help us earn it. But we we want to win things here. I've, I've never hidden that fact. But if we look beyond what we do game to game, you just lose sight. So. We will focus on game to game because it gives the best potential to do that. We've got 10 seconds before a break. <clears throat> one word, Alessia Russo. Are you confident she'll stay? I hope so. It's not one word. <laughs> That'll do for me. Mark Skinner, I'll stitch you up right to the end. But thank you so much for coming on live with <laughs> us. You. A victorious Manchester United boss, Mark Skinner. If you